This is a WECT Cape Fear Business Break. I'm Jessica Kirk and I'm here with Dr. Steele, a hip and knee specialist from Ortho Wilmington. Now, Dr. Steele, a lot of our viewers might be experiencing hip pain but not exactly know what the cause is. What are some common things you see at Ortho Wilmington? A lot of patients come into me with what they think is hip pain and they can have pain in the front of their groin area, on the side of their hip, or even in the back of their hip. And oftentimes it's my job to differentiate, is this truly coming from their hip? Because oftentimes it can be coming from their back and other places. And based on my history and physical exam findings and sometimes the x-rays, that's very helpful in determining exactly what the cause of their hip pain is. So once you've diagnosed somebody with actual hip pain, what are the different forms of treatment? Uh, most of the patients I'm seeing have some form of arthritis or loss of the cartilage in their hip. And most of the time we can handle that initially with non-operative measures, different medications, different activity modifications. But once those start to fail, we have some uh, surgical options for them. And, and the most important one that, that I offer patients is a total hip replacement. Now how has the total hip replacement changed and how have these treatments changed recently? Well, total hip replacements have been around for a while and we've made some advancements recently in some of the materials that we're using. Basically, these materials are lasting longer and uh, hopefully we'll be able to put a pa uh, total hip in a patient that can last them the rest of their life. Now, what's the recovery time? I mean, a total hip replacement sounds pretty intense. Well, we'd like to get the patients up the, the day of surgery, if not the next day, and the recovery should be very short in terms of getting them up and walking. Getting them back to their normal uh, activities can take anywhere from 4 to 12 weeks, depending on how bad they were before they started. And how does that differ from previous treatments? Well, we've definitely made some advancements with physical therapy and anesthesia that have really sped up that process. We're able to get patients up quicker, we're able to get them feeling better from a pain perspective, and we're able to get better medications on board. Excellent. To find out more, visit orthowilmington.com. This has been a WECT Business Break.